guys. Happy Friday to everybody. So it's time for Friday favorites and flops. There are actually no flops this week, so that's good. Um, I'm going to dive right in because I want to try to be as efficient as possible. I'm going to adjust you guys a little bit here. Um, hopefully it's not too bright. I tried to adjust the exposure compensation, so we'll see. Um, home fragrance pick of the week. It is the Light My Soy Tea and Cookies. I did a review of this uh, candle earlier in the week for you. I'm burning it yet again today, which is why I only brought the lid up to show you. But this candle is, it is just life for me. And I have a, um, a candle order showing up today from Light My Soy. I placed an order last week, I think it was. And I think I'm going to have to place another order before my coupon code is up. Um, just because I I need I need more of tea and cookies to get me through the summer. This is probably my go-to summer scent from here on out. It is so refreshing. It basically smells like tea, hint of lemon, and sugar cookies. I know that sounds weird, but it it works, you guys. It is delicious. If you're interested in ordering from Light My Soy and you're looking for some coupon codes, I will have a couple listed down below for you. They expire on May 31st. Um, you know, if, if you want to use them, feel free. I don't get commission or anything from them. In fact, um, I'm using those codes myself <laughs> to place my orders right now um, because I love free shipping. So that's the one that I am taking advantage of. But this one, it was a huge hit for me. I will list the review, in-depth review for you down below. So if you're interested, definitely go check it out down there. Um, I also have an, a jewelry favorite to share with you guys. And this is from Gemma Michelle Collection. So you guys um, may be aware. Um, my friend Stephanie from Flourish XO started her own jewelry line. And so she sent me a couple of pieces so that I could wear them and just give her feedback and share them with you guys. And um, this was insanely generous of her. She sent me two of her pieces. I showed you guys the Melanie, which is um, uh, an arrowhead longer pendant that she named after me because I fell in love with it when she showed me the piece first after she like put it together. She was like, what do you think of this? And I was like, it's everything. Like, <laughs> I want it. <laughs> So she was actually nice enough to name that one after me. And then the other one that she sent me that I fell in love with when she was first designing it was the Unicorn Tears. And I've been wearing this this week when I've been going to client meetings, and I get so many compliments on this guy. So this is the um, pendant right here. And I will link this down below for you if you're interested. Um, this is actually a super affordable piece. I can't remember. I will put the link and price down below for you if you want to order it but it's beautiful. It's actually prettier in person than it is in pictures and on camera, I feel like. The druzy, um, and it's genuine druzy, uh, is really insanely sparkly and it just catches the light. I love sterling silver. Um, it is a sterling silver chain. It's a really fine chain, so it's a very like delicate piece. And actually, I think I'm going to wear it today as well because... Um, the pieces that uh, Stephanie makes are very easily layered with other jewelry that you might already have. So I'm wearing it with my um, Stella and Dot little bar necklace. A lot of you guys always ask me where this is from. Um, it's from Stella and Dot. So um, anyway, what I like is that like you can easily mix and match these pieces and um, they're just so simple. Like they're just easy. I'm an idiot when it comes to like coordinating jewelry and like fashion. I'm a fashion idiot to start with. So <laughs> these are just so easy and I'm just, I'm so proud of my friend. And, um, I definitely encourage you to go check out her collection. She has some beautiful pieces and she's got some gorgeous stuff coming up. Like I kind of feel special cause I like, I get to hear her like as she's like, you know, designing things and finding new products and like putting things together. And it's just like, I don't know, it's kind of cool to have an in with someone who is making something so fantastic. So love this. Love this. I can highly recommend the Unicorn Tears. And um, I'm going to wear this today. I'm going to sport it when I go to the grocery store. <laughs> okay. Um, this. This is Footner. I put a picture of this on Instagram this last Saturday night. I was visiting my parents and um, 
So this was something that Stephanie also sent me in the last package that we exchanged with each other. Footner is basically the same thing as baby foot, if you guys have heard that, about that particular product. They are these exfoliating um, socks. Well, they're not, they're plastic, like, things, like right here. I don't have them to show you anymore. But basically, like, you just put these little plastic socks on your feet for about 60 minutes, and five to six days after doing that, your foot just starts peeling. Like, all the skin comes off of your foot. Um, so I, I sent Stephanie a message on, I think either Monday or Tuesday of this week. And I was like, ah, footner's not doing anything. This sucks. Cause it worked so well for her. And she was like, no, 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 give it a couple more days. And I was like, yeah, whatever. It's not going to work. It's fine. I'll get over it. <laughs> I was so pissed that like my feet weren't peeling yet. So today I get out of the shower and I look down at my feet and my feet are just peeling like and I won't even show you it is disgusting it is so gross the amount of like I'm having to wear socks around the house because I don't want like my giant sheets of skin this is so gross you guys are probably like oh and I don't blame you um but I'm wearing socks because I don't want the giant sheets of skin that are falling off of my feet to like just hang out on the floor as they're like coming off. That sounds so gross. Anyway, this stuff works. If you're in Canada, I believe you can find Footner at uh, Shoppers Drug Mart. I think that's where Stephanie got it. Um, I don't know that Footner's available in the U.S. I'm going to see if I can find it like on Amazon or something. If I can link it, I will link it down below. But in Canada, you can just go to Shoppers Drug Mart, I believe, to get it. Or Baby Foot does the exact same thing. I've heard that they're basically the same thing. So um, I will link one or the other down below. Or both, if I can find both. But this is the coolest thing I've ever used. It says that you can use it like every two to three months to sort of maintain. Like all, all of my calluses are like coming off of my feet. Like it's just taking all the skin away. It's amazing. Sorry. Why is this? Okay. I'm going to try to set this down here. <laughs> all right. The eyeshadow palette that I've been using most of this week has been the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Now, in the description in my videos, I try to at least put down what palette it is that I'm using. Honestly, when I am doing my different eye looks, I am using a little bit of this, 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 a little bit of this. Like, I am just dipping my brush into like anywhere from like five to six different colors. So... I honestly, by the time that I'm done with my makeup, don't remember which colors I dipped my brush into. So the best I can do most of the time is like tell you guys what palette it came from. And this week, most of my eye looks that you have seen in my videos have been from the Chocolate Bar palette. So I'm sorry. I wish I could be like more precise about it, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm one of those like mixer matcher types like I just use so many different products sometimes that like I literally cannot remember by the time that I'm done what I actually put on my eyes um I can't even remember whether I had breakfast today or not so I have really bad mom brain you guys but I do love this palette I think that I love the semi-sweet a little bit more now but if you like warmer, um, more chocolatey brown type colors, the original chocolate bar may be your best bet. If you are a little bit into like neutral cooler shades, I think that the semi-sweet might be a better fit for you. But both beautiful. This week I focused on the original and I do love it. I'm so glad that I own both and great, great stuff. Okay. The blush that you have seen on my cheeks pretty much all week is the Essence Floral Grunge Blush in Be Flowerful. This was one of their limited edition blushes, and this is what the packaging here looked like. Um, the reason I'm even bothering to show this to you guys is because Essence is constantly coming out with new collections, and I'm pretty sure that most of the time they recycle a lot of these same colors. 
in the different, you know, like summer collections that they put out each year. So I wouldn't be surprised if this exact color shows up in another Essence collection, like over the next couple months. Um, this one was just really great. It's a beautiful, bright, peachy peachy coral color for summer. I love the way this looks on my cheeks. It's absolutely stunning. It is a matte blush. I find that the Essence blushes do a really good job of staying put on my skin throughout the entire course of the day, and um, they're super affordable. I think these are like $3.99. Um, beautiful. And even like the permanent blushes in like the Essence collection, which I think are even cheaper than like the special edition guys, those are all fantastic too. They are totally worth checking out, you guys, and Essence is cruelty free, so there's that. Um, I have a lip product to share with you, and it's actually another one from Essence. This is out right now with their newest collection. I don't know the name of it, but it's the All About Cupcake Lipstick. I've been wearing this most of the week, and I've kept this downstairs in my kitchen and just have reapplied. What I really like about these Essence lipsticks is that they're really moisturizing. The color payoff on this guy isn't super intense, but it's just a really great, like, neutral pink shade that is basically, once you get it on your lips, like, a your lips but better color. Um... It's like I said, it's not bright, but it's creamy. It's moisturizing. It's almost like putting on a balm. I guess I would explain this as more of like a balm with this particular shade anyway, but it feels so good. And I mean, it's not long wearing or anything like that, but just the color itself is beautiful. It's, I don't need a mirror to reapply it, which is why it's been working great. Just leaving it down like on my, by my kitchen sink and you know, when I need a touch up, just put this on. It sounds ridiculous that I like touch up my lipstick throughout the day, especially since mostly I just work from home with Stella, but I don't know. You can be a fancy lady at home too, right? <laughs> um, I have a new mascara to share with you guys. I feel this is like the Friday favorites of Essence, I guess. This was um, something that Stephanie had recommended to me because I'm on the hunt for cruelty-free products. Most of you know that. Um, the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. So I picked this up, I think it was two days ago now, at my local friend Meyer. Normally I don't purchase the Essence blushes because they come just like this. They are not sealed. And so I'm really leery about products that like people can open and use or touch in any kind of way. Um, but I managed to find one that looked like it had not been opened at all. And so I grabbed it. <laughs> um, this is a really great mascara. I, I actually really like this. And I think that this may be my new go-to. I need to like use it for a couple more weeks to really determine if it's going to be like the mascara that I'm going to go to drugstore wise going forward. Um, I'm also going to try a couple of like higher end mascaras from like Buxom and um, I'm thinking about also the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. That seems like a good one. But this has like a Cobra style of wand. It is a natural bristle brush. The formula is a dryer formula. It, um, I'm wearing it today. It definitely volumizes my lashes. It adds a little bit of length. It's not a lengthening mascara, but it adds a little bit of length. Um, it's really good. It's super good for the price. I think it was $4.99. Um, so I think this is a great one. I really do like this. And the last thing I'm going to mention is a little hair combo that I've been doing for the last little bit. I'm, I'm trying to use up this Josie Moran Argon Oil Hair Serum here, and I'm super close to being done with it. I've been mixing one pump of this with my little, um, like, it's not even like a dime-sized amount. It's smaller than a dime-sized amount of my Caviar CC Cream from Alterna. This is their leave-in protector. So one pump of this with my little dollop of this, and I've been using that in my hair before blow-drying, and it's done a really good job of keeping my hair soft and protected and just feeling really nice. Um, I haven't done my roots yet. In case you're wondering, I'm I'm aware that it looks pretty bad, but um, I've been sort of like saving my roots <laughs> to be able to show my hairdresser. Um, I'm getting my hair cut on Sunday. 
I want to do a consultation with her to see what it would take for me to maybe go gray or like silver with my hair. Um, so I want her to see what my natural color is, which is pretty much just salt and pepper at this point. Um, I really want to stop coloring my hair, but in order to do that, like I would have to let all of this blonde grow out and like have this root situation for like a really long period of time. I don't think I can do that, <laughs> but I also don't want to like do like the silver or the gray and then have like crazy maintenance that I'm going to have to like go back to her for, um, you know, every six weeks to touch up. Like I don't want to spend that much money on my hair. That sounds terrible, but you know, like it has to be something that I can kind of maintain for myself the most part. Um, I don't know, but I just wanted to like talk to her about it. So that's why I haven't done my roots yet. Um, a lot of you are saying on Instagram to let my hair grow out. You guys, I can't do it. I cannot. My hair is so fine. It's so thin. Um, if I were to grow it out, it, it gets stringy. It just doesn't look good. People with fine, thin hair, I think the best thing is to just give in and do like a shorter haircut. Um, I've tried long hair, you guys. It doesn't look good on me. It just, it doesn't work. Um, and I really like the short hair. It's really easy for me to maintain. A lot of times I don't necessarily have to blow dry it. I mean, I've been blow drying it a little bit more now, but um, it just... I don't know. I'm, I'm not into the long hair. I really admire people that have long luscious locks and can like do fancy things with their hair. It's just not me. That's not my lot in life. I actually feel really bad for my daughter because she got stuck with my hair. <laughs> so um, Stella will never have thick, beautiful, lush hair either, but what are you going to do? <laughs> um, I'm going to work with what I'm given here and I really feel like the short like a line bob really kind of works the best for me so I'm excited for my haircut um, and I you guys will see me in a video on Monday so I'll show you the new haircut then it's probably gonna be pretty similar to what I always get but I might go even a little bit shorter I don't know I'll have to see um, anyway thank you so much for watching I hope that you all have a fantastic weekend leave me any questions down below and thanks so much for watching bye guys